Okay, guys, so I have to apologize because as usual, this is Zoom. Now let me share my screen and let's go back to the file. So guys, now I have been writing an example and I want to complete it. So I said that my father and my mother are coming to the party. Coming they are. Uh, again. Aren't the odds? Uh, bravo. Or are aren't what? Aren't uh, no. Bravo. Aren't what again? They. they. Aren't, oh, bravo. they. aren't they? Question mark. Okay, guys. My mother, we. They will. The pronoun to all we in no. Mas fina all they. Jamila. Okay, Jamila, I don't care about possessive pronouns. I only care about subject pronouns like the I, you, we, they, he, she, it. It's not about possessive like my, like your, like their. No, it's about subject pronoun. Okay, Jamila. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. Because my father and my mother are plural, absolutely, I have to say they. Okay, so okay. notice that I replaced the names with a noun and I didn't change the verb at all. And because that statement is positive, I wrote the negative. Be careful of the animals because maybe I want to talk about a cat or a dog. If I want to say my cat, my cat is hungry. Now, what is the question tag? Uh, isn't it? Uh, bravo, isn't it? it? Isn't it? So be careful of the non-human creatures. Isn't it? So I didn't, I cannot say isn't he or isn't she, isn't it? And the question mark because it is a question at the end. Okay, guys. Okay. Okay. Good. Let me write an example and you have to do it yourself. If I want to say you can come now, you can come now, what is the question tag? Can, can it you? Can uh, bravo. Can, uh, don't say can, can not you, please. It is can you. Uh, bravo. Can can't you. you? So you can come now, can't you? So even if it is modal verb, you have to stick with it. You don't have to change it at all. For example, you could sleep. Couldn't you? Ah, bravo. Couldn't you? Ah, okay. oh, bravo. So please, even if it is a modal verb, you have to stick with it. Please, you don't have to change it at all. Is everything okay till now, guys? Yes. Ah, oh, bravo. Okay. Now I need you to be careful about something because most of the students commit a mistake when the verb is a main verb. For example, you eat... Too much junk food, too much Don't fast. Ah, bravo! Too much fast food. So I notice, guy. Ah, bravo! Notice, Tagrid said, "Don't you?" Why, guys? Tagrid said, "Don't you?" Why did she use the verb to do? Uh, because it's uh, simple. Ah, we bravo! Must do exactly. So please, guys, be careful if the verb is main verb. If it is main verb, now you have to use do this did. Is that clear? Yes. Another example. If I want to say she feels tired. Uh, doesn't. doesn't. Uh, bravo. Doesn't she? Oh, bravo. Doesn't she? Alisa Kedalik, a question mark. Okay? Okay. Now, if I want to say she ate too much. Didn't she? Ah, bravo, because it is in the past. I have to say did. Didn't she? She. And question mark. Is that clear, guys? Yes. Okay. Yes. So please, 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 yes. again, be careful of the main verb and be careful of the verb to have only in the verb to have and the main verb you have to use do this did for example if i want to say she has a house guys if you want to say she has a house it is wrong to say hasn't she uh, please 
Thank oh, you. Ah, bravo. Doesn't she? So again, let me tell you a certain information which is really important. I know that if the verb is verb to be, verb to do, verb to, uh, may, uh, auxiliary, you have to stick with the verb. I know that. But only, only, only with the main verb and with verb to have, you have to use verb to do. This is the biggest mistake or 90% of the students commit this mistake. Be careful of the verb to have because it is an exception. You have to use verb to do. You do, cannot say hasn't she or uh, haven't he or something like that. Okay? Okay. Okay. So this is the question tag. But absolutely in every grammatical rule, we have certain exceptions. أكيد ما لولا الاكسبشنز كانوا هلا 90% من سكان الارض عم بيحكوا انجلش. اوكي. Now guys, let's imagine I want to say she now please listen carefully. She will not come tomorrow. She will not come tomorrow. What is the question tag? Uh, won't come tomorrow. Uh, what? Will not. Will, will, will what? Will come, will come she. Don't use a, a verb again in the question tag. Okay, let me try to discuss this sentence. First of all, where is the verb that I used? Do come. I got... Ah, uh, uh, come. Okay. Do I have verb to be, modal verb, uh, verb to have, verb to do? But name. Uh -huh, we <laughs> have modal. Well, is modal verb. I don't have to change it. This is number one. Is it positive or negative? Positive. Uh, negative. Uh, is it positive? Negative. negative. I have not. Negative. Uh, sorry, negative. So I have to say what? Will she? Uh, bravo. Will she? So she will not come, will she? Okay, this is it. Now, what if I want to write the opposite? For example, she will come tomorrow. Uh, will not she? Uh -huh. This is the way that I need you to be careful. Okay, she will come tomorrow. Guys, keep in mind that the abbreviation of uh, will plus not Akid, we better all will not want. Bravo, want, want she. So want. Akid, we better all will not. Akid, in tubu guys, I'll want. And I'm aware, guys, that the can, the can, I will could, I will shall, I will should. Be basata, be for not. But but please be careful in the negative with will. Will plus not in the abbreviation. مع الاختصار, it becomes want. Okay, guys, so please, please, this is really important. And from this moment, try to use a question tag in your speaking as much as you can because it is the best way for your conversation to complete and not to stop. Now, let me summarize or recap the question tag only in one page. And absolutely, I'm going to uh, send... Uh, this page uh, to you when this class is finished. This is it, question tags. Okay, so let me open this page and let me recap. If you want to uh, take a look at this page, let me erase my screen. Okay, so guys, this is it. Notice this is verb to be, this is verb to be. I didn't change the uh, verb at all. This is positive. Because it is positive in the question tag, I have to write the negative. And please, you have to write it in contracted or abbreviation. Notice that here, because I have main verb, you have to uh, write here the do this did. And notice here, I have modal verbs. Absolutely, I have two modal verbs. Except for will, you have to say want. Okay, this is if the sentences are positive. Now, if the sentences are negative, absolutely here I have to use the positive in the question tag. 
Okay. Now, I need you to be careful about the last two information of the two pages. Okay. Let me write an example, and you have to tell me the question tag about the example that I want to write. Now, guys, if I want to say, I'm not coming tomorrow, what is the question tag? Are, are. I'm talking about myself, for example. Are you? L let's imagine that I'm talking. Huh? Where, where to do? Am I? Am I? Oh, bravo. Am I? Okay. So I'm not coming. Am I? Okay. I know that it is in a certain place. It's wrong. But I need just to show you that I have to stick with the verb. This is am verb to be. This is am. And because it is negative this is not here i don't have to use the negative but what if i want to say i am tired what is the question tag no aren't i ah, bravo. Uh -huh. aren't i i cannot say i'm in i okay guys aslan al am ma uh, taqbal al negative yani ma biqdar aqul i'm in i i'm in i is wrong فلازم استبدل ال am and I بأرنت I في طلاب كتير بيسألوني teacher I مع R طب معقول بتزبط أكيد ما بتزبط ال I مع ال R بس لأنه am and ما بتقبل ال am ما بتقبل ال negative اضطروا أنه يحطوا ال R بدل ال am so please please this is an exception if you are using am in the positive in the statement you have to replace it with R but not am Okay. Okay. So I'm good today, aren't I? So aren't I? I cannot say I'm and I. This is one of the exceptions. Now let me show you the next exception. You have to be careful. Now, if you want to use let's, be careful because let's in the question tag you have to use shall. Let's go now. Let's go home, shall we? So notice shall all the time. If you want to say let's in the question tag, you have to use shall. So this is the second exception that we have in the question tag. Notice here, I'm late, aren't I? I didn't say, I'm in I. Ana mutaakhir, alaysa kadalik. So please, please be careful about these two exceptions. And we still have plus two exceptions. Notice, guys, in the final of this page, we have nobody and nothing. So nobody went to the meeting. Did they? Okay. أنا بعرف, guys, إنه أنا خبركم لما sentence تكون positive فالمفروض نحن بالquestion tag نضيف negative. بس ليش بهيد sentence ما عندي negative ما عندي not وكمان ما ضفت not بالquestion tag. Guys, and nobody here itself negative. لأنه أصلاً النوبادي بتحوي نو فالنوبادي لأنه أصلاً هي النيجاتيف أنا ما بقدر إرجع كرر النيجاتيف So this is why if you want to say nobody, no one, nothing Please keep in mind that these words are already negative words And because they are already negative You don't have to repeat the negative You have to use the question tag in its positive way Is that clear? Yes, teacher. So, yes. Please, please be careful. And absolutely, I'm going to send these two uh, pages uh, to you, to the group, just to be able to revise them. So please, we have indefinite pronouns like no, nobody, none of us, nothing, seldom, barely, rarely, hardly, neither, either. All these words are already negative. So please be careful if you want to use them and if you want to use the question tag with them. So these four exceptions you have to keep in mind and remember the four rules in forming the question tag because it is extremely important in conversation. Guys, I, I have done too much interviews with teachers in my school. Every year, absolutely, uh, uh, we are hiring uh, certain English teachers 
and I interview the teachers all the time, all the time in my interviews, I use a question tag just to enforce Yujbir, the listener to speak, not to stop talking. So please, it's really important. Okay, guys. Okay. We Did you think to ask me my daily soil, my my tisjil recording, the station of Madin? Ah, uh, surely I will. Uh, okay. Maybe I will be a little busy tomorrow because tomorrow is Thursday. But one hundred percent, I'm going to upload everything on Friday. Okay. Okay. Thank okay. you so much. Okay. So, guys. Again, please let me mention something before leaving. So notice here, isn't it? It's a question tag. So using a question tag on conversation is extremely important. And don't forget the comma, absolutely, if you are writing. And you can ask certain questions I'm going to show you later. If you want your conversation to continue, and absolutely, you can add a certain comment. Absolutely, the next class, I'm going to show you how can I ask certain questions in the conversation and how can I add a certain comment or amazing comments comments just to make my uh, uh, conversation uh, uh, just last long than only one minute or maybe two minutes. Okay, guys. Okay, teacher. So, okay, uh, teacher. Uh, I know, but I'm sorry, I have a class at eight. So, if you have any questions, let me uh, 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 please uh, tell me. No, Thank teacher. You, teacher. Okay, Thank so, you I, so much. I think that you understood the lesson, didn't you? Yes, I, I do. Okay, thank you so much, guys. And I have to wish a good night for you. Thank you so much. Bye bye, bye bye.